All right, so pretty straightforward. It, you'll just go from your main dashboard and you will click on the subscriptions. This is gonna give you a list of everybody that is subscribed to your various car wash services. So here we've got Billie Eilish and Billie Idol, both subscribers to our plans, different generations, different things. Billie's more of a bronze guy. Eilish is more of a gold plan. So basically, um, you're looking at the two of them. This is going to give you everybody. It's also going to tell you what all of their statuses are. So you can go ahead and look and say, hey, great, it's live. Um, they're active. They were billed on July 16th. They're next going to be billed on August 21st. And if you click into a person, you'll get an overview of everything that's gone on with the subscription, what they purchased. In this case, it's the gold plan monthly with the hand dry monthly. It's got the total fee. Uh, it tells you when they've been billed, kind of what you saw on the on the main page as well. You can go ahead and look at the overall invoice history. Clearly, they just started with this. And if you had any recent activities, there aren't any, you could click on that as well. Um, and then when you click on the more button here, you can kind of did a little more detail. You can go ahead and add a coupon, put a one-time add on it, add a separate charge to it, you know, uh, enable metered billing, which was talked about earlier. Uh, but the big one, which most people are going to do here, is it's gonna be cancel and delete subscriptions. Now, you'll notice something is missing here, which is pause subscription. By default, as Tyler was talking about earlier, pause description is not on. It should be, but it's not on by default. So you're gonna to wanna to turn that on when you're talking about managing your subscriptions. And what you're gonna do is click on settings, and then preferences, and then go over to subscriptions and enable, pause, and resume. Once you've gone ahead and done that, well, your cancel subscription, delete subscription will now add a pause subscription option for you there. And that's going to be really important because here's what you're going to get. Delete subscription is going to be a rare thing you'll never do. You are going to have someone who calls up and says, just cancel my subscription. You'll be using that one a lot. But more often than not, Someone just wants to take a break. They want to take a pause. They're going on vacation. They've got something going on. So you're really going to want to go ahead and pause that subscription for them. It keeps it active. So the pause subscription will bring up this dialog box. I want to pause it immediately. And then you can say it resumes on the next scheduled date, resumes on the next renewal date. Um, or in this case, I set it to October 1st, 2021. Uh, Billy's on Eilish over the summer and she will not need her car washed. So very straight. You can put your explanation in there. So on October 1st, she comes back from tour. She'll be coming in for a car wash. And now on your overview, it'll tell you straight up top that the subscription has now been scheduled to resume on October 1st, 2021. It's really, really a straightforward uh, management of these subscriptions. They make it very easy. Uh, again, when you're looking at all of your subscriptions, you can see who's paused, who's live. You'll see if they're overdue. By the way, that's a big one where the subscription, maybe it didn't hit automatically, so it's overdue. Uh, but this is just a general dashboard and pretty much very, very easy to manage everything you've got going on in your with all of your clients and all of your subscriptions. All right. And with that, we're going to wrap it up. If you have any questions or comments, please head over to designata.com and drop us a line. And on the website is where you'll find all of our episodes of our podcast, where we cover all of the weekly news of Zoho every single Monday. Uh, we'll have links out to any of those updates. As always, we'd love if you would follow us on your favorite social media platform and subscribe to us on your favorite podcast app, as well as on YouTube. We'll see you next time.